thank you very much. <coughs> uh, my name is Shinji Koshida from Chuo University, Japan. And first of all, I'd like to thank the organizers for giving me this opportunity to talk here about my recent work about McDonald process. Uh, today's talk is based on my paper on archive. So, excuse me. So, in my talk, I write why for the collection of all partitions, which are in one-to-one -one correspondence with young diagrams. So then the McDonald process is actually a stochastic process of this uh, y, the set y, but uh, please let me say that the end step today, the n step McDonald process is a probability measure on the n fold product of y, and the, the probability weight for this, uh, this kind of sequence of partition is given by this product, where uh, the psi lambda nu is given by this formula, where p and mu are the McDonald symmetric functions labeled by skew partitions. Then the, under this setting, any function of, on y uh, is regarded as a random variables. So the problem is, is to compute a correlation, a correlator of a given random variables under this uh, probability measure, uh, which is naturally defined by this formula. And No, 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 this is just a sequence. So they don't have uh, Because, uh, yes, yes, but uh, I, I don't specialize any variables. So, so this is just a, just a sequence it, it, without any restric restriction, okay? And this problem is actually very classical subject, so there are many and many uh, preceding works uh, which treated many applications to stoch actu actual stochastic models, uh, uh, for example, in these works. But today's my point is a rather formal one. I, I try to develop an algebraic method to compute the computer correlator, uh, yes, a purely algebraic method to compute correlator, and actually it is, it is the, in the same spirit with the work by Okunko for, and Okunko for Shechihin for sure case, uh, sure process. And there, it, what is the point is that is to uh, identify the space of symmetric functions with uh, some Fock spaces, Fock representation of a Heisenberg algebra. And I also try to propose uh, gen some kind of generalization of McDonald measure from the viewpoint of some algebraic structure of the so-called Dini-Yohara-Miki algebra. Okay, so let's get started. And for, in, in my first part, let me introduce some very basic of sim the theory of symmetric functions. Okay. <clears throat> So in my talk, I fixed the ground field to be F, which is the, the field of rational functions of Q and T. Then uh, we write lambda to N for the ring of symmetric polynomials over, over F of N variables. Then the ring of symmetric functions, not just not polynomial, the ring of symmetric functions denoted as lambda is constructed as the, the Project, its projective limit in the category of graded rings. Uh, this is in the category of graded rings, just not just the rings. So uh, by definition, any element of lambda is a symmetric function. And please remember that it, it depends on infinitely many variables. So I write capital X for a set of, set of such uh, infinitely many variables. So please show, uh, please let me show a uh, very important set of example of symmetric functions as uh, called power sums. For a natural number R, the R's power sum symmetric function is defined as the sum of variables uh, powered by a given number R. And this is denoted by PR of X. And for a given partition lambda, uh, denoted by lambda uh, in Y, uh, I set the corresponding uh, power, power sum symmetric function that is that is the product of 
the, correspond, uh, the product of power semi-symmetric functions corresponding to these entries. Then it is known that the collection of this kind of power semi-symmetric functions where lambda runs over all partitions forms a basis of lambda. So I also introduced some kind of inner product on lambda, which is uh, important in the theory of McDonald symmetric function, functions. Uh, because in previous slide, I, I said that these uh, power semi-symmetric functions forms, forms the basis of lambda. So it is convenient to define this inner product in terms of this basis. Then it reads that this, uh, the inner product of P lambda and P mu vanishes unless lambda and mu are identical. And if they are identical, the value is, is defined by this formula, where the lambda is also given by this kind of product, where mi of lambda, uh, this is a multiplicity of the number i in the, in the partition lam given partition lambda. Then, actually, we are ready to define, uh, define McDonald's symmetric functions. Uh, yes, the McDonald's symmetric function denoted as P lambda, where lambda is uh, labeled by a part partitions lambda, are uh, characterized by the, these two uh, properties. Uh, in the first properties, I don't define some, some important notions. Uh, one, is the, what, one is the monomial symmetric function denoted, denoted as M lambda, and the other is the meaning of this inequality in terms of the dominance dominance partial order. But uh, the, yes, I don't, I don't define these notions, but please notice that the transition function between the McDonald's symmetric functions and the monomial symmetric functions are triangular with a unit diagonal. Okay, then the, the second property is very clear. It, it says that the McDonald functions are orthogonal systems. And we also introduced uh, some normalized one, which is denoted by Q lambda. Then the collection of Q lambda, also be, uh, of course, lambda runs over all partitions. They, they form a dual, dual basis of the original McDonald symmetric functions. And uh, to define a McDonald process, we also have to define a McDonald symmetric functions corresponding to a skew, parti skew partition, which is done as follows. Uh, because capital X and capital Y are both sets of infinitely many variables, so they are combined to be a single, single set, set of infinite variables. So P lambda of X, Y makes sense. It, it it completely makes sense. Then we, def we expand this symmetric function in terms of the McDonald's symmetric functions only of Y. You can do this and, and the McDonald's symmetric function corresponding to a skew partition is, uh, appears as the co coefficient in this expansion. And the similar definition for Q, the case of Q is, is, is defined, excuse me, uh, uh, the McDonald's symmetric function Q corresponding to a skew partition is also defined in a similar way. And so, so then we can move on to the next section, which is uh, actually a main ingredient of the of my of our theory, so uh, first thing to do is to define the uh, relevant algebra, which is a Heisenberg algebra. I define this algebra uh, denoted as by U as a unital associative algebra uh, generated by a n uh, the symbols a n, where n runs over all integers except for zero over f. Then I, sub, uh, then I impose on them 
the following commutation relation. Then we can consider two kinds of folk, mod folk representations of the Heisenberg algebra. One is denoted as F, uh, which, is the, which is a left representation of a Heisenberg algebra generated by a single vacuum vector denoted as zero ket. And the vacuum vector is defined to be annihilated by a n with positive n. Then <coughs> this uh, for uh, space F admits a uh, basis labeled by partitions. Here, uh, here we write lambda ket, which is obtained, obtained by applying negative modal Heisenberg algebra to the vacuum vector corresponding to the entries of lambda. And on the other hand, we can also define the, the Define a representation denoted as F dagger, which is a right representation. Uh, F is a left representation, but F dagger is a right representation. The, uh, the, the algebra acts from right. And this, this space also is generated by a single, vac single vector, uh, which, is, uh, which, is, which should be called the du dual vacuum. And the dual vacuum vector is should be annihilated by uh, annihilated by a n with a negative n. Then this space also admits a, a basis labeled by partitions uh, naturally defined. Uh, then then the bra, bra of lambda is naturally defined by this this formula. Then uh, I I like to think of these folk representation F and F dagger as dual to each other. So I define a kind of, I define a F bilinear pairing between F dagger and F. And so that the norm of the vacuum vector is unity and the and second condition is that the right representation of a Heisenberg algebra is compatible with the left, left action of the, the same algebra for all vectors and all generators. Then the proposition says that uh, uh, these Fox spaces are do, uh, sorry, uh, these Fox spaces are isomorphic to the space ring, uh, space of symmetric function. Uh, to be precise, uh, we can, I can construct, I can consider the Consider a linear mapping yota from F to lambda that sends lambda ket to the power sum symmetric function corresponding to the same same partition, and we also find a linear mapping F dagger from uh, sorry uh, yota dagger from F dagger to lambda that sends bra lambda to the same part, uh, same uh, symmetric function. Then that these that these Assignments are isomorphic is trivial, but moreover, it, th that assignments are compatible with the structure of inner product on lambda, namely the pairing between lambda and mu in the Fox space is actually identical to the inner product of p lambda and p mu in on the uh, space of symmetric functions. Then, using these facts, uh, I can see that McDonald functions can be can be expressed as uh, matrix elements of some operators. Uh, to that purpose, we introduce these kind of things, these objects denoted as gamma of x plus plus and minus. Uh, these are uh, uh, gamma plus gamma plus and gamma minus, and they are they are defined by this this uh, formula where, where I can find the generator of a Heisenberg algebra, but we also find symmetric function Pn over x. So this is basically a, basically an operator on the Fox space, but its coefficients are symmetric functions. Then what we find is that the application of iota is actually identical to the computation of the matrix element of this operator, gamma plus. 
And the application of EOTA DAGA is also identical to the computation of this uh, operator, gamma minus, in F for every vectors. So using this proposition, uh, the, the following one is, the actu is a direct corollary of the, the first proposition. The, if we set, if we, if we write uh, ket q lambda to be, uh, to, be a, to be the vector which is identified with, identified with the q lambda and the iota, and, and I write bra p lambda for the vector identical, uh, identified with the p lambda and the iota dagger. Then the, the McDonald symmetric function corresponding to a uh, this kind of skew partition is actually identical to this matrix element. All right. Uh, okay. I think I think it's very good to show uh, proof of this proposition because because it illustrates the typical computation involving these kind of operators. So let's do, let's, please let me do it. Um, the goal is to, uh, I, show the, I show only the uh, left one. The, please, not, please notice that it, it suffices to show this identity. This is equal to our sum symmetric function times the, uh, this matrix element. This is the goal. So I, okay, sorry. Uh, N is positive, N is positive and uh, at V is arbitrary vector in F. So I consider the, this kind of quantity gamma x plus plus powered by alpha, where alpha is some complex parameter, and a minus n times gamma x. Uh, excuse me, gamma x plus powered by minus alpha. So, so this one is in the inverse of this one. And let's differentiate this quantity by alpha. And by definition of gamma plus, this is actually alpha, but here we can find this, uh, this element. Yes, uh, this is just a power, but... Uh, oh, just alpha yes, exactly, exactly. Oh, okay. That is the definition. 3 and T minus. But here, we, here, commutator appears. Right, okay. So by definition of the Heisenberg algebra, this commutator, commutator is actually equals to this. M times minus, uh, uh, please note that M is positive, uh, Q to M over one minus T M and delta fun delta of M minus is a minus n is zero. So the so, so actually only terms of m equals n survive. Then uh, these these factors uh, cancelled. So this is actually uh, because gamma to minus alpha and gamma to alpha are inverse of each other. This is 
just the power sum symmetric function uh, and the power sum symmetric function. So looking at this as a differential equation in terms of alpha and solve this differential equation, then gamma x plus and alpha and integrate in terms of alpha from zero to one and this and this is equal to because alpha is, when alpha is zero when, when alpha is zero this is just a minus n a minus n and p n of x appears so you i can use this use this to obtain this because because zero and uh, uh, gamma plus, plus a minus n. This is actually using the using that formula uh, a minus n. But by definition of the dual vacuum vector, zero bra, which is annihilated by the negative mode of the Heisenberg algebra, this, this the first one vanishes, then the desired result is obtained. So this completes the pro proof of the first, first property of this. Uh, first property of this proposition. And this is a quite, uh, quite uh, typical computation in involving these, uh, these kind of object, or in these kind of object, uh, I mean, uh, exponentiate operators of Heisenberg generators. All right. So please, okay. <laughs> so, Let's move on to the next part. Uh, I, here I show you uh, some correspondence between correlators. Correlators, yes. So I write f of y for the collection of random variables, which is just which are just the function of y. Then I define uh, some mapping O from f of y to n f, which send some function f to this operator, which is which is, di which is just an operator on F, but is diagonalized by the McDonald vectors with, with eigenvalues uh, specified by the given function. And I also define some operator, uh, excuse me, so I also define for uh, function F uh, this kind of object. Uh, this is, this is again uh, basically an operator on the Fox space F, but the coefficients are symmetric functions. Then the theorem reads as follows. Uh, let F1 to Fn be some random variables. Then the correlator of them under N, the n-step McDonald process is actually identical to the matrix element of the matrix element of the corresponding operators up to some normalization. So let's uh, take a quick look at the proof. Uh, first thing is to compute this kind of matrix element. So the uh, point is that the identity operator on the box space F is, it can be expanded as a sum of, sum of projections of this kind. So I insert this in identity operator in the definition of this, op this uh, operator, and we have this. And by definition of O of F, it is diagonalized by these McDonald 
McDonald vectors, then uh, corresponding uh, eigenvalues, eigenvalues appear here, and the remaining matrix element of gamma minus and gamma plus are just McDonald's metric function of some skew partitions. So we have this, this, okay. And the next thing is to compute the numerator of the formula. I again insert identity operators in between, uh, I mean between two operators, then we can obtain this, the second line, where the sum of the uh, product of this kind of matrix elements. Then I apply the first result to each of these matrix elements. Then we have uh, the third line, where uh, the new sum over partitions, lamp, new sum over partitions appears. And next, and then I take take summation, take the summation over new. Then this quantity is actually proportional to the correlator under the McDonald process, then uh, this, uh, this, okay, and this kind of computation essentially, essentially completes the proof of the theorem. So let's uh, see application of this theorem. Oh, excuse me, sorry, uh, sorry. Yes, this is. So, uh, as an example, let's consider this kind of kind of uh, random variables, epsilon r, uh, whose value at lambda is given by this formula, where e r of x is the r elementary symmetric function, which is defined by this uh, formula, and uh, the value is just the elementary symmetric function specialized at this value. Then the Corresponding operator is admits this kind of expression uh, because the, this this random variable is essential is basically the spect basically a spectrum of some McDonald McDonald operators. So anyway, uh, the anyway the corresponding operator has this expression. So I have to sum. After I have to explain some notions and uh, where, okay, uh, eta of z is just an operator on the Fox space defined by this formula and uh, uh, column, columns here is a normally ordered product in which the positive mode of the Heisenberg algebra are put on the, put on the right and the negative mode of the Heisenberg algebra are uh, put on the left in, in this uh, normally ordered product. And I also have to say that this, the sense of this integral, uh, this integral is a rather formal one. I mean, this is, this is uh, just a linear functional over the space of formal infinite series that takes its residues. Uh, residue means the coefficient of z inverse. And uh, actually this, this operator is basically uh, McDon free field realization of the McDonald operators, which was, def which was obtained by Shiraishi and Fagin et al. And I, I, found that, I found that the same operator actually admits the expression using a determinant. Okay. So I would like to I would like to consider a correlator of these random variables. So the central central task is to compute these kind of matrix elements, which is explicitly written as this formula. And here I can see the the, the vacuum expectation value of some operators, but please notice that this this product of mat, product of, of operators are not normally ordered. So the strategy is to rearrange this product into normally ordered way because this is the very, uh, very important property that the normally ordered product of vertex operators, it is, when it is, 
excuse me, so uh, the vacuum expectation value of a normally ordered vertex operators is unity. So, this, so the relevant strategy is to rearrange these, this, the operator appearing here into the normally ordered way. To this aim, the, the kind of pro operator product expansion is very convenient. For example, the usual eta z, uh, the usual product of eta z and eta w is actually, this product is not normally ordered. But if, if I transform this product into normally ordered way, then I will find some extra factor in front. And the same computation is actually valid, in, valid for eta, uh, eta times gamma or gamma times eta. And I, uh, yes. And this kind of computation actually gives the, the final result, which is very, uh, which seems very uh, complicated. But let me, excuse, sorry, let me remark that uh, in case of in case when all R's 1 to Rn is 1, then the uh, equivalent formula is, can be found in the work by Borodin, Kovin, Gorin, Shakirov. Actually, yes. So, okay. So, sorry, sorry. So in the remaining few slides, I just, I show some uh, some direction towards a generalization of the McDonald measures. The central ingredient is the some uh, algebra called the Yohara Miki algebra. Uh, it is the Yohara Miki algebra is a unital associative algebra that is generated by four currents x plus x minus and psi plus and psi minus and an invertible center, invertible central element, gamma to one half, and they are subject to some relations I omit because they are very complicated. But the important point is that the Dean Yohara Miki algebra is a Hopf algebra. So it is a, it is especially it is equipped to be equipped with a coproduct denoted by delta. And for example, the image of x plus, the current x plus under the coproduct is given by this formula. Then uh, the Dean Yohara Miki algebra admits a uh, Fock representation. Uh, to be precise, uh, the Fock space has, the coefficient of the, of the Fock space has to be extended in, in, some, in some way. But uh, basically, this basically this space is a representation, and it, it is, that representation is often called a level one representation. It, it is denoted as rho from uh, u to n f tilde, and, as, and for example, the the current x plus is represented as represented by the vertex operator eta of z, which which we already used in previous sections. Then it is nice to recall a version of the definition of the McDonald basis, P lambda, where lambda is runs over all partitions. Uh, actually, this family of vectors is uniquely determined by these two properties. Well, the first one is very uh, simple. Uh, it is if the uh, McDonald function is expanded in terms of the monomial function, then the monomial function corresponding to some partition which is strictly smaller than lambda. And the, M lambda, the coefficient of the M lambda is unity. The second one is, is says, says that the McDonald function is an uh, eigenfunction of some operators, which is denoted by X, uh, which is the representation of the zero mode of X plus. And the uh, eigenvalue is given by this. Then, actually, this kind of definition admits a generalization. Let, let's write both lambda for the tuple, m tuple of the partitions. And 
And it, let's introduce uh, a simple, simple analog of monomial, func monomial function in lambda bold, which is a product of the ordinary monomial function in F tilde, uh, sorry, uh, M fold tensor product of M F tilde. And I also write the I also write the coproduct action as a row to brace M, which is, uh, which is just the representation of the Dini-Huaramiki algebra on this M fold tensor product of the Fox space. Then it is shown by Awata et al. that uh, this, this space M fold tensor product of F tilde admits a McDonald type basis. That is, that satisfies these the following two uh, properties. One property is, is the analog of a triangulation, triangulated properties. And triangular, yes. And uh, yeah, please note that uh, the analog of the dominance, semi, the dominance partial order uh, is defined properly. And the second one is says that requires that the McDonald basis is an eigen eigen system of eigenfunction of operator, of some operator, uh, which is x, the zero mode of x plus, uh, represented on the tensor product space. So, <clears throat> so because each Fox space, each tensor component of the Fox space is identified with a space of rush uh, symmetric functions, so the so the M fold tensor product of F is identified with the M fold tensor product of the space of symmetric functions. So I write P lambda bold for the sim, uh, sorry uh, some function which is identified with the with the member of this McDonald type basis. Then uh, it is called the, the then this function is called a uh, level M generalized McDonald function corresponding to this uh, tuple of partitions. Then it is natural to think of some uh, probability measure on M fold, M fold product of partition so that, the, so that the probability weight of some uh, tuple of partition is given by the product of Given by the product of generalized, generalized, generalized level of generalized McDonald function, so I don't think it's very hard to figure out how the same, this, a similar story as to the ordinary McDonald process in the in this generalized case. So I don't say I don't say more. Okay, so let let me conclude my talk. I developed an algebraic method to compute correlators of the McDonald process. It actually, it is, the, it is in the same spirit with the work by Okunkov or Okunkov Reshechihin for the sugar process. And the relevant correspondence was this kind of formula, which, which said that uh, some, which said that a correlator under some McDonald process is actually identical to the uh, to the uh, matrix element of the corresponding operators up to normal uh, with some normalization and if 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 these operators admit some useful expression typically using using vertex operators we can compute this uh, quantity further and we also propose some a kind of generalization of McDonald's McDonald measure by means of the new Haramiki algebra, but actually uh, this generalized McDonald measure has to be studied further. Uh, for example, uh, positive speciality, uh, because McDonald's uh, very literally is known about uh, generalized McDonald McDonald function. For example, um, one has to classify positive specialization of generalized McDonald function to obtain genuine probability measure. And or also it is, imp it is important to obtain a combinatorial expression for, or expression of few variable specialization of generalized McDonald functions 
this is important. Is, this is important for application to scale actual actual application to stochastic models, if any. Yes. Okay, that's it. Thank you very much. <laughs>